So the high pull dip lunge for me, as with all the pull push legs, the main three, I just encourage people to figure out the version that's right for them and stick with it for kind of four to 12 weeks. So the high pull variations you can see here is getting that nice lean in. I like this version because it mirrors the dip and then getting those elbows as high as you can and getting the turnout so it mirrors the ring dip. Uh, so I like to work those. Uh, you can just keep it parallel with the body. If you're using a band, these work quite well. Uh, as with all the band work, you can see there's more tension there and then less tension there. You could add a bit of a squat into the movement to change the band tension. So that way it keeps it more even. Uh, it's a bit tricky to do. But uh, if you're just working these and you're not going, they're not an exercise you want to go too heavy on. It's just to balance out the dip strength. Uh, but it is good to develop stronger over time, so that way you can get um, better inverted pulls in the rings. So these are quite good to mirror the dip. So the basic one just in between two chairs is really good for really correcting posture. You can straighten the legs out here to make it heavier, get that nice lean in and really push right up as you come out and then get that nice chest stretch as you go down. You can advance that to the rings so it's unstable but again you want to use it as a stretch and a strengthening exercise uh, so that's quite deep there so you want to make sure it feels good feels solid in the shoulder then when you're going to progress to full body weight it's good to get a strong hold at the bottom of it and work those so you might be working on those for a, for a month if you're first progressing to full body weight so that that way you can get a nice controlled eccentric and you're not just dropping into that M range position. So using the band is a great way to get started with the concentric reps. I like starting people with the touch on the ground at the beginning and then pressing up. But what you can do is the height that your feet get to at the top, you hold that position so the band length stays the same and you bend them like you would in a pull up going down. So that way you even out the assistance that's a good one to work for a month or so if you're working through the bands before you go to full body weight. But you want to have that nice control. This is quite deep, so it's a deeper position. And then here you're going even deeper right down into that. Um, so the more you can go deep and get stronger there, then it's going to cross over into those transitions into a back lever. Lunges next. So working knees once a week and use that full range of motion. So I really encourage that nice deep lunge where you're getting that ankle mobility, hip flexor mobility, and it's like a squat on the front leg. And then you can work into more dynamic ones, going with the step back, really driving through that front heel. But if you're gonna do lunges, you may as well use the full range of motion that you have and strengthen that. So that, that way you can improve your mobility at the same time. So always with all your lifts, full range of motion is always going to give you the best return, provided you've got good stability in that range. But if you haven't, you just work the range that you have got good stability and strength in and gradually build that out. But that's, um, you know, a lot of people overinvest in getting stronger through partial range. And then you, you end up with these kind of imbalances because you're too strong in a certain portion of the lift. These are really good to do to get strong on all those different angles in a lunge. The lateral ones you're kind of doing on the side split days, squatting days, and then reaching to the back on 45 degrees is really good for hip stability as well. And driving up through, because most of the times in sports it's three-dimensional, it's never just straight front back or side side, hitting all different angles. So you want to make sure that all the different angles are stable, strong, healthy, and that way you keep your hips healthier for life. So yeah, get into the lunges, get into those high pulls and dips. Um, try and hit them once a week. If you need some feedback, film yours, get them in to me and uh, work from there. See you soon, guys.